Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins, and I'm live today, uh, Monday, October 3rd. It's 7.39 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and I came on here uh, because it's official. I actually passed my certified in cybersecurity exam about a little about two hours ago. I got my endorsement. So for those who are new to ISC Square, there's three steps. The first step is pass the certification. The second step, which I'm in, is the endorsement. And then after the endorsement has been approved, is three, you pay the annual membership fee or AMF. So I'm currently at step three. And regarding step one, I did put the link to my YouTube video that I uploaded on Friday in there so you can go through step one about what my thoughts were regarding the certified in cybersecurity uh, exam tips and my experience in the physical testing center that's something else i want to bring to your attention uh, isc squared all of their exams are administered by pearson view in a physical testing center even though pearson view has on on view, which is its online proctoring tool, it does not use the ISC square. You have to physically go there. Now, returning back to the endorsement, I'm very happy about it um, because now I'm going to use my Microsoft Certified Cybersecurity Architect Expert Certification. Why may you ask? Because also here on YouTube, I showed you two videos. The first video was when ISC Square approve my waiver to add that certification to the CISSP approve credential list. And the second video that I had was when they actually added it to the list. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, thank you. But I, I was one of the first people with the Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect Expert because I took the beta exam. You know, and that was an expert level exam. I saw where uh, ISD Squared had the Microsoft 365 uh, Enterprise Expert. And I felt that since my certification was an expert level exam, number one, two, had the word cybersecurity in it, which is something that the CISP and ISC Squared organization uh, always talk about. And then number three, you had the security uh, architect, which is one of the target audiences. I felt that they, that's why I petitioned for a waiver and they added it to the list. Since the certified in cybersecurity exam is entry level, meaning zero to three years of cybersecurity experience, uh, it was told to me that all I would need was to uh, agreed to the code of ethics. However, I will be submitting my certification uh, because I would show that I have cert uh, cybersecurity experience. And it's just very good. I wanted to do this live stream because I rarely do videos like past 8 p.m. EDT. And also I happened today and I didn't want it to be over overnight. I wanted to be fresh. I wanted to get my YouTube family, uh, especially for all the support that you've given me throughout this whole thing, uh, be it certified in cybersecurity, just all throughout 2022. Another thing I'm going to do after I end this broadcast is I'm going to put the 1 million certified in cybersecurity blog post link out there. Now, that is the current a promotion that I participated in to get a free exam voucher and the free online self-paced learning for the certified in cybersecurity. I also became an ISC squared candidate for free, which is something you will have to become when you do pass on these certifications. However, I will preface that since I passed the cyber security exam, they would still get you with a uh, annual membership fee of $50. So it's free to join and you can have it for a year. You'll still be a non-member, but to become a member, you will have to pay the $50 annual membership fee for the certified in cybersecurity. That's something that I already said. And I wanted to iterate that throughout the videos so that people, when you're participating in it, you know, it's a physical testing center, you know that at, when you pass, you will have to pay an annual fee. So there won't be any surprises because I do a lot of these videos as like 
customer service just to help people along though there won't be any surprises and smooth it all out for you. But I would like to thank all of my YouTube family for all of your support. I passed this official that I'm a certified in cybersecurity. The next step is endorsement. I will be using my expert level cert since it was approved. I'll keep everyone posted. Hopefully my endorsement won't take four to six weeks like I said on the email. It'll be quicker. I'll uh, keep everyone posted. And always for cybersecurity, I do on-premise, hybrid cloud and cloud native cybersecurity. Get in touch with me at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact. Thanks for the support. I'll see everybody in the next live stream video. Have a wonderful Monday and the rest of this week.